Hey everybody, Mike here with Harwood Canucks and I am at Deepcool with what is my last video of CES. And this one is going to be really interesting for me and a lot of you guys because you all know Deepcool, some of their coolers like the AK620 were some of the best that we reviewed over the last year. They were surprising, they were amazing and they looked good too. But a lot of you guys were asking us to look at the Assassin 3. And I was holding off because I said to you that they're going to be coming out with a new Assassin, an Assassin 4. And that's what we have here. And it looks completely different than I'm sure a lot of you guys expected. Why? Is because they took that current design from the AK620 and the entire AK lineup and translated it into the Assassin. So what we have now is something that looks clean, it looks stealth, it looks exactly like what a lot of you guys want in your PCs. And I know right now it's black. They have not announced a white model yet, but supposedly it's in the works. If you guys want it, let us know in the comments below. I'm going to say that you're going to say, hell yes, you absolutely want it. So let me explain to you a little bit more about this new Assassin and why it has me so excited. So first of all, it has 100% RAM clearance. You can actually see here that there are Corsair Dominators installed. These are some of the highest DDR5 modules on the market today. There's absolutely no problem here with the fan. The reason for that is because if you look right in here, this is basically a pull-pull configuration. So there is a 140 millimeter fan smack dab in the middle of two heatsink towers, so two fin arrays inside of there. After that, the air gets pulled in through here and then exhausted with a 120 millimeter fan. Now that 140 millimeter fan, that's a brand new model for Deepcool. It is basically this one right here. And unfortunately, Eber has completely, completely hidden its name. It is the FT14. So the FT14, I want to explain a little bit more about it because a lot of people have started to ask about high pressure 140 millimeter fans. And that's exactly what this is. That's why they were able to put it in a pull configuration in between two towers. The other thing that I wanted to mention about this, and this is very, very important, this whole design aesthetic, it looks clean, but it also serves a functional purpose. That functional purpose is basically defeating one of the main issues that a lot of CPU cooler manufacturers end up dealing with. And that's the fact that a lot of the air ends up escaping outside of their coolers and isn't passing through those fin arrays, basically cooling things off. What this sort of semi shroud does here is it funnels all of the air from these two fans directly through those fin arrays and outside of your case. So they're almost achieving like an air tunnel like effect while also making this thing look absolutely amazing. It's like, I feel like Jen said, there's one more thing. There's also a small little feature that a lot of people might miss about this cooler. And that is a small switch right here that allows you to go from low speed fans on both of the fans to higher speed. So basically what we're talking about here is about 1200 RPM for the low speed mode and just over 1800 for the higher speed. The cool thing about this is that there's a small visual indicator if you hadn't noticed that already whenever you switch it over. So when it's in high speed mode, the deep cool logo is a little bit more illuminated. When it's in low speed mode, it goes dim. The other couple of things that I should mention about the Assassin is that this is meant to be a 100% competitor to the likes of the Dark Rock Pro 4, the D15, higher end coolers like that. So it's not going to be necessarily inexpensive. You're looking at seven heat pipes, you're looking at dual towers, you're looking at a couple of these other more expensive design items. We're looking at maybe about a hundred bucks for this and personally I think in the market today that's perfectly fine. So the other thing I wanted to talk about here is just a quick update to the LS series of coolers. They now have a digital display on there but it's not your crazy look of RGB all over the place. It's not a bunch of information thrown into your face. What it is, is a basic temperature readout and a CPU utilization readout. You're, you can see it's sort of like flashing here and there because it's still a demo sample, but it looks clean. It doesn't 
have all of this crap in your face. But speaking of these digital readouts, I want to go to the other side of the room and talk about some updates that they're working on for their basic cooler, so the AK series. So on this side of the room is probably the most interesting thing that I've seen here, and that is deep cool sticking with their clean aesthetic, but integrating an LCD into the top of their coolers to show exactly what I was talking about before with the water cooler. Basically, it's a digital LCD that shows the percentage of CPU utilization and your CPU temperature in real time. And look, I know that these are a piano black finish, which might be an issue for a bunch of you guys. It was an issue for me. I basically said, look, you should go with a matte black on the top and they are actually looking at that. But otherwise, this is their entire lineup except the Assassin. So basically the entire lineup will be getting this treatment as different SKUs. There's also this cool little RGB on the side and there's of course some RGB fan options too. But personally, this looks amazing. It is not overly done. It is well done and 110% the way everybody in our comments has been asking manufacturers to go. Forget about crazy bling. Just do it clean and do it right. And that's exactly what I think that they're doing here. But anyways, I wanted to end this all with talking about, guess what? Dimitri's Gonna be jealous, I'm gonna be talking about a case. All right, so this is where it all comes together. I'm gonna gloss over this a little bit, but you can actually see this is where all of the design aesthetics from Deep Cool come into one homogenous look. Basically, you have the design of their air coolers, their water coolers translated into the fronts and tops of these cases. So this is the CH560 series. You have the CH560 standard in black and white. You have the CH560 digital, which has this digital display like we've been seeing on a bunch of other things here that shows you a bunch of pieces of information here as well. So what we're looking at is pretty basic mid-tower cases, but they do come both with included 140 millimeter front fans. Other than that, look, this is what we want to see in a company. We don't want to see all sorts of different types of designs here and there. This is how you actually successfully brand a product or a product line. You go from cooler to case to everything else looking the same and you get something that looks like this. But anyways, let's talk about pricing for these cases because the non-digital model is going to be about $110 to $120 depending on the color. Meanwhile, the digital version will be $130 to $140, maybe on the upper end of $150. But anyways, this is Mike with Harbor Canucks here at Deep Cool. I really hope you enjoyed this content. I'm gonna be signing off from CES. Ever's behind the camera. Dimitri's in another meeting. Robert's there with him. We are gonna say, I hope you enjoyed all of our coverage from this show and I am gonna see you in the next one. Take care guys.